Albino Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Look at these guys. That's pretty cool. So, what? This is Jabba. <laughs> oh. Nobody oh. said That snake's probably like 250 pounds. And that's cool. Oh, that feels so disgusting. Because <laughs> it's a freak. It isn't even supposed to happen. It's basically a paradox. Paradox means it isn't supposed to be. And check this thing out. What is going on, Carols? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are back in California at Jay's shop, Prehistoric Pets, and uh, behind me here is the office skate pond that they installed, I believe, a few months ago. I was here, and um, none of this was even here. None of all of this so it is behind Davis here as well, and then all throughout this whole entire place. There was, there was none of this here, besides that right there, that room. But uh, right here was a wall. There was actually a wall right there that was closing everything off. So we got a lot of new things to show you since the last time I was here. And I'm excited as well as Jay is to show you all the new stuff. Also, all of this is new as well. But we're gonna start right here with all these right here sliders. Just, just a lot of them hanging out in this little tank here. And right below that, a sand monitor hanging out in there. There's just a ton of different reptiles. Obviously this place is just loaded. Some bigger snakes along here, which you guys will see. Oh my God, that's probably one of my favorite ones so far. Look at that, it is just all platinum. I like to call that one the platinum. Albino Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I honestly would love one of these as a pet because I just love anything that's albino or platinum, uh, but venomous. Once again, lots of venomous things here. We got our chill iguanas here. We got the anacondas down here. Uh, two over here and uh, one over there. Oh, dude, that's so sick. I would love one of these little baby monitors. Come here. Oh, that just shed. Oh, oh, oh. That snake's probably like 250 pounds. Not even kidding you. Massive. There's got to be a spider in here. Tarantula. Look at all the webbing. Oh my lord, where is it? I don't see it, and I don't really want to see it. Retoed box turtles. All sorts of things, like I said, we're gonna see a lot more of this sort of stuff towards the front of this place, but as you can tell, a lot, a lot, a lot. Now I just skimmed through a canyon sand boa. That's a pretty cool thing. Let me zoom in on him. It's like a lizard without legs. Oh, look at these little guys. Little velvet geckos. Check out that rattlesnake right there. That'll uh, that'll ruin your day, that's, f that's for sure. Wouldn't, wouldn't be a good day after getting bit by that. Even worse, that thing is so nasty looking. And you can see the sticker that is right here on the glass, Venomous. And over here, we've got, these are way bigger. I believe there's 10 in this whole entire thing. This is the brand new enclosure for these snakes. There's a few up there, some down here, and of course our wow turtles. Wow. Check, check this out, check this out. By the way, look at these guys. That's pretty cool. All our little little bearded dragons here. This is one hell of an enclosure for them. I mean, that's like living in the wild. And then a bunch of more tortoises. He said these bigger ones go for about $1,000, um, and these smaller ones go for about 500 So these things are pricey. Check out the size of these snakes. Humongous. I mean, look at their, look at their enclosure. Massive. Baby alligator. One of the pets that I, I would love to have, but unfortunately is illegal, unless you do have a, a license, of course, but awesome enclosure for this alligator. As you can tell, there's little ledges, and water actually pours out of those little holes right there, jerps back down, and uh, this is killer. This is awesome. Oh, look at the snapping turtle. Did not even see that one, but we got a little snapping turtle. Last time I was here, I believe there was two in here. Maybe he got rid of one, or maybe it grew up. Not exactly sure, but such a cool thing. Crazy. The gators were not the last thing. He got the monitor. This is the one from the show Jesse on Disney Channel. Pretty cool. Oh, there we but go. Here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, me nothing. I don't eat hay. Please. Make a word for it. Like an unhook no. with Fabio. Dude, I don't feel like swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he dances. He comes up to the surface. Wow. 
I, cool. You know, I think today's probably the highest I've ever seen him. Earlier today, I had him jumping out like a that dolphin. Is, I got good footage of that. His so name's Fabio. Oh, wow, wow. Hey, hey. Look at all the chicken in your stomach. Oh, I'm going to leave that. I don't know, this is the fourth one today. <laughs> Check out this tegu. Okay, Paul, I got you a tegu. We're living the dream. Living the Here dream. we go. Play. Let's see if you'll eat. You know you want it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's choking that thing. Get it. Oh, oh, it's breaking. He's, he's smart. He snapped in half unlike the other ones. <laughs> yeah, the other ones just swallowed. Yeah, he actually there. enjoys this food. <laughs> Look how cool that lizard is right there. Here's some of the new stuff. Another diamondback rattlesnake. And then over here, there was one thing I wanted to specifically show you. This was pretty cool. Another type of monitor, but false water cobra. Never seen one in my life. Take a quick screenshot of that. And I'll uh, learn something about that snake right there. Here it is, the Savannah monitor. Super, super cool. You got some, some meat on a plate there. I guess that's their lunch, or at this time at least dinner. Time to feed these. Oh wow, hello, you're hungry. Oh, they're all waking up now. Food. Dude, oh my moly. I love how they just don't even care. They just keep on biting and chewing. Your turn, buddy? No, eh, eh, not yet. So, uh, just give him a little sniff, maybe? No. Nope. Nope, he's the only one. It's a late night snack. It's a late night snack. We're closed right now. Oh. How old can these? 200 years old. 200. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's gonna, he's gonna. Smoke it. I'll just give him the whole entire thing. Let him just keep chowing. The only bummer about these guys is sometimes they get kind of crazy and start breeding and it's kind of like rated R for reptiles and all these little kids are wondering what's going on and they're making all these funny noises. What, wow. do, they, what, what do they sound like when they breed? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> different, wow. different tortoises have a different sound, but all of them you'll laugh at. You know at. exactly what they sound like? Like this. <laughs> There's the room full of the breeders. If you guys haven't watched Jay's Instagram stories, you wouldn't really know what that is, but they're just the breeder snakes, and then all the eggs are along this glass wall here. And uh, speaking about breeders, look at these babies. There's the ones that reflect in the sun. I mean, there's just all sorts, and I'm not the biggest reptile guy, but look at the colors on these. Some of these are actually the only ones in the world that have this pattern and the genes that these ones have. The red dots are the specific ones. This is probably one of my favorites right here, as well as I've got to show you this one. Come, just look at this. Look at the colors on that snake right there. And when they're when they're new and they're actually small babies, they're super smooth. I don't know, dude. There's something about these little ones that just get me. Look at how cool that is. And they, every one of these just loaded with snakes. All of them just absolutely loaded. I mean, that's cool. Oh, that feels so disgusting. <laughs> but it's really cool, right? Oh, yeah. they're so cute. Everyone's checking them out. Look at this. Bunch of them. Okay. Right, this is only one of these in the world. Yep, and unfortunately, the color don't look as good as it really does. It's ridiculous, but it's an orange ghost stripe, golden child, sunfire, white phase albino, only one in the world. It's not only the first one, it's the only one of those exact genes. He's got a brother. It's also a world's first. It has one more layer of sunfire. World's Ooh, only, too. Dude, look at the colors, Davis. What do you think? Matches my hair. <laughs> oh my That's god. That's sick, right? So sick. Yellow head. Oh, white. That's a pied. It's got little It's spots. a platinum. It's a citron. It's a tiger. And it's the only one in the world. First one in the world of that. That it's one there is not. Eyes. That one right there is not only a first in the world. It's probably going to be the only one in the world because it's a freak. It isn't even supposed to happen. It's basically a paradox. Paradox means it isn't supposed to be. And check this thing out. It's an albino, it's a non-albino. It's got crazy colors, crazy pattern, crazy eyes, and it's a titanium albino sunfire tiger on top of all that. So who knows? Those snake people out there know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, except they freak it out because they don't know what it is either. <laughs> <laughs> that there's a world's first. Another one. Yep, that's a platinum, uh, platinum titanium uh, mochino. Uh, titan Jeez, yeah. They just don't stop. No, nope. we got. We're pretty lucky around here. We're living the dream, this man. Is, yeah, this is. Whoa, hello. That you're one's in a, a in a cup. Oh, are you ready? Jay, yeah, this might be my favorite. I don't okay, know. cool. So this is a cow, but it's not only a cow. It's called a cow because of the spots. 
but this one has Golden Child, Sunfire, and it, it, it's got a whole bunch of genes, so it's actually a special cow. It's a California so cow. cool. <laughs> that was a, a quick little run over tour here at Prehistoric Pets out in California. So yes, we are right now in California. Don't know where I'll be by the time this video is up and uploaded onto YouTube, but I appreciate every single one of you guys for coming along for yet another video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, join the family, scratch the subscribe button like this Tegu is scratching me, <laughs> and turn your post notifications on. Thank you, Brian, you wanna take this? <laughs> I got you, man, I got you. <laughs> Thank there you. you. Bud. Oh, go. yeah, they got good, good nails. Too, Here's right? the reptile man, Brian Barchak here. <laughs> I'll have his stuff linked in the description as well, guys. Thanks but, so much, Paul. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, join my family if you haven't done so already, become a Kefaro. Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on. And also hit the like button if you want to see some more reptile stuff. Anyway, this was a blast. I don't know where Jay is. The guy's a busy man. He's a busy man. Hey, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Peace! Oh, check this out, dude. This thing oh is. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> this is uh what this is jabba oh, what? <laughs> what the heck that's just a little frog a little frog that's a little tiny frog this is actually an african oh, pixie my frog moly. is what this is it's, a, it's an african bullfrog actually so uh you find these guys actually running around south africa just like we would find cool frogs here holy god from above just He's so old. just check it how big that frog <laughs> is <laughs> bigger than my head for real oh my god what does that eat like mice this thing will literally eat something the size of its body it'll eat mice it'll eat rats in the wild it'll eat other frogs it'll eat snakes it'll eat lizards i mean literally if it can fit it in its mouth it'll eat it that is awesome that's pretty cool i've never seen one of those personally